Coach, how special is Sunday going to be for you getting to go back to Brown State? Well, I don't get back to Northeast Ohio much um, anymore, but you know, I've been back there, got to coach there. It's, it's always a special thing to be able to see family, uh, friends, uh, you know, see my high school football coach. Um, you know, spent a lot of time in that that area. I grew up there, so um, you know, I've been in that stadium and been in the old Memorial Stadium too. So it'll be cool. What was your favorite Browns memory growing up? Well, we got. To, I think we were in college sometime, and we got to go up to the last game that they played at Memorial Stadium, and they were. They, they, they had to switch ends because people were pulling the bleachers and the row of bleachers came off or the chairs came off and they would just take them one over, they'd bring them over everybody's head and then they'd dump them into the field and they kept having to flip ends uh, because the, the, the rows of seats started building up. So that was pretty cool. What was the least favorite Browns moment growing up? Well, probably the, you know, the fumble or the drive or when, you know, Bill got rid of Bernie Kozar. That was, that was a big Bernie guy. Uh, thoughts on, on Ford? Um, impressions Good back. On you know, I mean, like if you go back, you know, Alabama. You know, they don't they don't take any, you know, scrubs. And so, obviously talented, and then had a great career at Cincinnati, and has shown to have some some real good quickness and speed, and showed up the other night. As you prepare for the Browns, you know, without Chubb now, is, is it kind of back to where you, you were to prepare for the Saints, just like where you're not chasing goals? Or do you kind of expect to see things to pretty well, much... Well, I mean, this same? O-line, you know, I mean, it's kind of, it's, just, it's their system, you know, and then again, it's... Chubb's made it go, but they also block. There's some really well-blocked plays, and uh, it complements the, the passing game and the, and the, and the boot some of that stuff that they're doing. So I mean, we'll have to defend whatever they come out in, but they're, you know, they're going to have doing what they do predominantly, I would imagine, just because of how good they are at it. What are the keys, I guess, to pressure to, to Watson? I guess getting there is maybe just half the battle. you got to get him on the ground. Well, he's got great play strength in the pocket. Uh, you saw his, his length and play strength uh, outside the pocket, his ability to scramble on third down to, to convert uh, on, on those uh, possession downs. You know, he's got great play strength and uh, shakes guys off at the waist and able to throw the football. How did uh, uh, Xavier uh, respond this week? I mean, last weekend was a little tough for him, but what did you see from him kind of bouncing back this week? Well, I mean, he had a good week. You know what I mean? He, you know, that's kind of what he's been his whole career. You know what I mean, he showed up here, wasn't drafted, competed, and continued to work. And, you know, sometimes that happens in this league and he'll get another opportunity. I mean, you know, because. One guy goes in, takes advantage of his opportunity, and then we go from there. But no, I don't. I mean, he, he's taken some punches in his in his life, and that's why he's here. I'm sorry. Christian and Amani, how they look, getting back in swing. That that's a two people. Okay, you said it like sorry, that was one it. person. <laughs> um, yeah, good. You know, it, you know, you you miss Hook, you know, just from a communication and a presence and. So it's good to have him back out there, and then you know, Fulton just get out there and work and compete, go play. Did yeah, Amani clear the protocol? Yeah, 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 we're clear, good to go. When you play a team that builds their offensive identity on running the ball, and your defense is built on stopping the run, is your goal then as a defense make them throw, make them do, like be uncomfortable? I guess. No, I think it's just playing good defense. It's it's not trying to guess and. You know, they came out the last time they were down here and they, they emptied us out, they opened us up, they threw the ball a little bit, um, you know. So I just, we'll just have to play good defense and whatever they do. Anybody out? Joe, you know, you're just innocent bystander? I'm, I'm tweeting inactives. Good. I'm ready. Skaronski. DeAndre, I guess, how you how you feeling? How things uh, how things looking for you this, uh, this week? Feel good. Um, you know, feel good, feel good about everything going into this week. Um, so, yeah. Kind of, the, kind of the same scenario as last week, uh, tested out and, uh, hopefully you'll be ready to go. Uh, I wouldn't say the same. I would say, um, you know, just, you know, me being a, 
as you guys say, a, a old, a old, old veteran player. Uh, you know, just just take some time to to kind of you know get healthy all the way. So uh, I wouldn't say it's the same as last week. Um, I would just say, you know, Vrabel just um, you know just trust in Vrabel's plan. Is it improved from last week, or is it a completely different situation entirely? Um. Yeah, it's not really more so um, an improve or different situation. It's just you know um, the the plan of of me going into the game, um, you know, being able to play in my best. Yeah, I guess is there a question too of if if you rest a little bit, do you you know is that possibility that you come back at your best if you give it a little rest? Um, you know, I think I think each situation is different depending on the player, what kind of player. Um, obviously, um, you know, I've played a lot of ball, um, you know, and missed very few games. So, um, you know, just trusting, trusting the plan and, um, you know, just ready to go out when my number's called. What are you doing, DeAndre, when you're not on the practice field as far as uh, making progress still? Uh, man, you know, it's a lot that still goes on. Um, you know, I still work out, still do cardio. Um, you know, I'm trying to uh, do everything that those guys are out there doing, um, you know, without um, obviously catching the football. So, you know, it's still a lot that goes on. And, um, you know, when you're a professional, um, you have to prepare yourself like you're you're practicing every day. So you will make the trip to Cleveland and uh, and have a chance to play, you think? Uh, oh, yeah, absolutely. When last Sunday playing through it? Oh, man. Um, you know, I, felt, you know I, I feel like, uh, you know, my, my team won, uh, and that's all that matters. Uh, you know, Ryan and myself, we went what, four for five on, on uh, you know, targets to me. So, um, you know, I would say, you know, we won, so it went well. For you, for you personally, though, how did the ankle respond to a full game? Oh, man, um, you know, those guys did a good job of, of helping me get ready to, to play in post-game uh, post as well. So it felt good, uh, you know, going into the game and after the game as well. Um, Tyler and those guys, you know, they know what they're doing. So, so you're going back to school to get your degree. But like, why is that important to you to do that? Oh, man, it's important because, you know, um, I come from a family where not a lot of people graduated. And, uh, you know, my father died when I was six months. And, you know, when I went to school, it was kind of something that I promised my mom, you know, and, uh, you know, my, you know, you know, my mom and, you know, obviously my father, I, you know, I kind of vowed that, you know, I would make both of them proud and graduate. And that was something that, you know, I promised my mom that I would do, um, you know, knowing that my father would want me to graduate college. What's the degree? Excuse me? What's the degree? Uh, it's called PRTM, uh, Parts and Recreation Tourism Management. Um, uh, I always was interested in managing facilities and, um, you know, uh, before I, you know, came to Nashville, I always wanted to put on music festivals and country music festivals growing up on country music. So that was my interest in going into that degree um, of learning how to manage and facilitate, um, you know, things of that nature. How, how much more time do you have left and what's, what's it like trying to juggle doing that and, and getting up with the playbook and being ready to play on Sundays? Oh man, you know, well, you know, my teacher that I have now is very understanding of my schedule, which is amazing. And, um, you know, it's, I, have, I mean, luckily I, I played in, in the system before um, to kind of understand what's going on to where I'm still not, you know, having to learn the playbook every week. So that helps out as well. Um, but, you know, um, it's, 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 I would say it's, it's pretty easy, man. Um, it's it's not the most demanding major. I'm not going to law school. What and what what's it been? I think somebody maybe screen recorded you being in the one of those Zoom sessions this week. What what's the reaction been like of of fellow students when they see the Andre Hopkins doing Zoom class from a locker room? Uh, I mean, I really haven't had anyone 
message me outside of you know, the, the message board in class. Um, you know, so hopefully, hopefully whoever did that, um, you know, I'm pretty sure, um, you know, you're not supposed to do that, but, you know, I, I, I hope they don't get in any trouble. Um, you know, I'm pretty sure they didn't mean anything by it, just being excited to see me. So, uh, hopefully, you know, there's no punishment against them, even though I'm pretty sure that's illegal. You, you, your teammates think it's pretty cool and you got pretty much pretty good support for pursuing that? Uh, yeah, man. I think, um, you know, I don't, I don't think I do it for the support or uh, validation of anyone but myself and my father and my mom. Um, the fishing clearing was today, so I had to get through some practices, uh, make sure that I felt good, and then um, meet with the doctors and neuro doctors, and they cleared me from there. Being as though you had the same situation last year, does it intensify the, you know, the process to, to clear this year? Um, I mean, it's all about how I feel. I mean, last year was a little different. Last year was a little more um, serious concussion. This time it wasn't as bad. So it's just all about how you feel. Um, some guys, it could take longer than others. But um, fortunately, this this time that um, I'm able to come back pretty quick. What's patience level like for you to start the season and then you're down for a week? Mm. kind of get back after the game and then? I'm very, very happy I'm able to feel the way I do right now. I'm very fortunate as well um, that I'm able to feel good a week and a half, almost two weeks after the um, the hit. So, I mean, I'm no rush, really. I mean, just got to be able to come back and make sure I'm healthy. I don't want to come back too early, and then I'll just put the team at jeopardy and myself. Is it, you know, concussions are so talked about now and mm -hmm. potentially dangerous. I mean, does it concern you that... You know, this is two two years in a row that you think. Um, not really. Um, a lot of the concerns, you know, back in the past is guys would get a concussion, stay and then go back out there and play again or play the next week and then they're just stacking concussions on concussions. They got good protocol and the good staff here and like I said, good protocol around the league to where that they wait until the brain is healed first in order for you to go out there, which limits that long term effect. Does it seem like it seems now like almost always players will miss at least the game, whereas mm -hmm. years ago, yeah, a lot of times they go back. Is that kind of what you're referencing? Here? Yeah, exactly. I mean, you just got to make sure that brain heals. That's that's the main thing. That's how you don't get those long term effects is by not keep beating your brain up week after week after week. When it happened, did you recognize it yourself, or were you pulled out? Just kind of what was the first well, start? I, I recognize it myself um obviously i went down i started feeling a little pressure in my head um and then from there it's they, they control everything from there yeah yeah i mean for me it's practice has always been um important to me um if you don't do it in practice it's gonna be hard for you to do it in the game so um, a lot of the stuff that I've been doing in camp, uh, I think it's preparing me for this year and, you know, ready for this week. As far as the showing goes, obviously, these guys are going to lose fresh and keep plays alive. How does that impact these guys in practice? Um, great quarterback. Um, I played him multiple times my first couple of years when he was in Houston. Um, and like you said, he's going to make plays, extend plays. Um, he's a playmaker guy. He can make all the throws. Um, he, he obviously, he's not having the year he wanted right now, but um, he's still capable of doing all those things.